Yeah, it was. But you were wrong the other day. That's not what a train does to you. It doesn't mush you into neat little pieces. This train, she's a knife. That's why we loved her, me and Brett. This train, you've seen her. So much beauty, she's breathless. A huge hunk and chunk of shiny black coal blasted fresh out of the mountain. We had a good start, me and Brett. We both could have made it. Of course, Brett, he was faster. I expected to be running behind. But Brett was worried about me. He was stupid like that. He turned over his shoulder to look at me, and he tripped. I thought he'd just get right up, so I passed him by. Right then, we were so close, I could smell her. I thought he was running behind me. I thought Brett was running behind me. I could hear him behind me. He didn't call out. He didn't say, wait up. I didn't know. Why didn't he call out? Not even a sound, Brett just, just sat there where he'd fallen and then he got up, slowly, like, like he had the time. He got up, staring us straight in the face, like, almost like it was a dare, like, go ahead and hit me. And you can't dare a train to hit you, because it will.